Hey guys, my name is Brian. Some people might call me materialistic. Some people might say I'm starting to develop hoarding tendencies. So I thought I'd dig through it all and kind of show you some of my favorite, some of the cool things that I've collected over the years. This is Sylvester. He was my best friend for a long time. My brother threatened to boil him in the pot. <laughs> I think it's crazy that I used to carry this thing with me everywhere and now it just collects dust on my shelf. Pokemon card! Got my Japanese cards. Of course they're all, you know, num numerical order. People always said that if you put Machamp outside in the sun, he would develop extra arms. I tried it, it never worked. This one was one of my favorites, a pre-release Dark Gyarados. It's actually weaker than the regular Gyarados. Remember my urban exploring video? I found a few really cool signs on the floor in there that I took home. Of course, my Game Boy Color with Pokemon Red still inside it. And yes, of course it still works. Back in high school, I did a lot of humanitarian aid work and I went to Nicaragua three times. The first time I went, my group was an interesting bunch and our nickname was the Womb Raiders. Uh, one of my group members actually was an avid uh, knitter and so she actually made me my very own womb complete with cervix, uterus, and fallopian tubes. My friends and I used to love raiding the local dollar stores because they always had absolutely crazy crazy stuff. I actually want to get Dan out to my local dollar store and do one of those opportunity buy haul videos like we did on his channel. You can find a link here. Those are the Christmas tree shops. One of my favorite things I found was this. This pack of wrapping paper, or excuse me, gold packs of flavor wrapping pager. The the thing is just covered with horrible English. Let me, let me read you the back here. Good luck. Best wishes for you. This wrapping paper, the assortment is numerous and the species assort with the popular Vogue Synchronous. The applicability of low file product in Rarius Senior High School is expensive. Deep Sulfur, the large businessman to like. And then it's got a word of wisdom here at the bottom. As soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. My friend. I will never erase the memory of you from my mind. Remember me now and then. Touching from my gold packs of flavor wrapping pager. Also from the dollar store, we found pink belts for a dollar. I wore this belt every day throughout high school. A few kids made fun of me too. I, look, I literally wore it to where it is no longer wearable anymore. I love this belt. This is my favorite belt. I don't know why. So I kind of have a bunch of various odd collections of things. I collected Pez dispensers, I collected band-aids, I even have 10 years worth of Guinness Book of World Records. But one of my coolest collections I think is pins. Um, I bought this hat in Disney World when I was like 7 and I slowly just started collecting pins everywhere I went and attaching them to this hat. Um, there are pins from all sorts of places, a lot from Disney World, from Nicaragua, there's some German pins on here, Medieval Times, New York, there's some uh, September 11th pins, Carnival gave me a pin for going on a cruise, I bought these Soviet Union pins off some garage sale in, the, in Brooklyn. I haven't really bought any pins in a while, but I'm slowly still adding to this collection. At one time, Bethlehem Steel represented 2% of the entire United States gross domestic product. Years of mismanagement and foreign competition eventually led them to go, to go under, leaving behind a spectacular steel mill in their hometown of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I also have a lot of their old keys. Remember when I mentioned I collect weird things? I collect lighthouses. Lighthouses. This is one of my favorites. This is the Fire Island Lighthouse out here on Long Island, but I've got like 30 of these. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the most powerful handheld laser you could possibly own, the Spider Arctic, shooting one watt of power. This thing took me over three months to get from China. I was one of the first people to order it. 
Mine actually doesn't have the safety switch. It's actually just one button. Remember, always use eye protection when you're playing with lasers. You could seriously, seriously permanently blind yourself with something like this. So that's honestly a tiny, tiny little sampling of some of the crazy cool stuff that I think I have. I hope you found some of it interesting. I wanna see the kind of stuff that you guys like, the kind of stuff you collect, the things you find interesting. Post a video response to this video showing me some of the awesome stuff that you've gathered. I'm not trying to turn anyone into hoarders though. Hoarding is bad and unhealthy. By the way, if you wanna send me a message, the best way to do it is to email me, brian at lafon66.com. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been sending me messages on YouTube and I've been trying to reply to them, but those messages kind of get lost. The YouTube system is not great. Send me an email and I'll try and respond to you. I'm actually upgrading my email, changing the system a little bit so I don't lose track of them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Oops. This is Brian doing his hair in the morning. Oh, so someone asked in the comments how I do my hair, and I know this is a very complicated process. There's some tricky steps in here. First, my hair is slightly damp, slightly damp because I just took a shower. Then I use Redken number 12, rough paste. Take a little bit of my finger here. Okay, anyway. And then I go like this. And I did my hair. Yay!